Recently, DICE posted an update on Reddit, giving a bit of insight into what they are planning with the future of Battlefield 5 and how this live service we've been constantly told about will improve the gaming experience, bringing more updates and content to the game. Just before this video gets started, I'm fairly sceptical with any information that comes out of the mouths of developers at DICE, not only because pretty much everything that has come out so far has either been delayed or underwhelming, but mainly because if I get excited about something, especially when it comes to Battlefield 5, I'll only line myself up for disappointment when it doesn't actually reach those heights that I thought it would. That's not saying that DICE aren't capable of creating a really good Battlefield game, we've seen it in the past, but if Battlefield 5 is anything to go by, we haven't quite reached the heights that I expected to reach with this World War II Battlefield game, and there's plenty of work that still needs to be done. Another message that I do want to bring to you before we get started, I just want to say that these negative style videos that are being posted by me and many other YouTubers, but I have been mainly focusing on a lot of critical videos when it comes to Battlefield 5, have been for a few reasons. Firstly, I love the Battlefield franchise. I want the game to succeed and hit the heights we've seen in the past with Battlefield 3, BF4 and even Battlefield 1. I want DICE to build on what we've seen in the past and provide us with a fantastic all-out war experience, and I know they are capable of doing it. I cannot, however, sit here and let all of this nonsense go past without saying something and remaining honest about my feelings on the state of the game. I feel as if I not only owe it to the people that watch me and have watched my content for years, but also to the franchise as a whole. Developers will come and go, fans will support the game for only so long and leave, but there's only one constant, and that's the franchise. The game needs honest criticism to grow and improve, and I certainly won't shy away from providing that. That doesn't necessarily mean I'm right with everything I say, of course this is an opinion piece, it's more of a discussion if you like, so you guys can leave your comments down below. I do read through them, I tend to read through the first ones that are posted and then come back to the video 24 hours later and see what discussions have taken place. Starting out we have the community broadcast from the Global Community Engagement Manager, it was posted on Reddit and this is what this video is mainly connecting to. Here is what the post said, I've included a bit of it on screen for you to read through if you wanted to pause the video, but of course it is linked down below for those who want a more in-depth read. Battlefield 5 is taking a new approach to the series. We've removed premium and will bring all our players together on a journey as we explore new experiences, new content and new ways to play. The launch of Battlefield 5 did not go as smoothly as we had hoped, you were missing experiences you expected. Some areas of the game were not what you anticipated from us, and our day-to-day -day transparency from reveal to today was inconsistent and could have been better. The community manager then goes on to discuss this new Operation Sunrise, yet another confusing term to describe something that should never be a problem in the first place. Anyway, let's get on to a bit more of what he had to say. DICE plan to bring us community broadcast covering topics. They also plan to bring more high quality communication in the form of dev talks and Twitter takeovers from the devs. These are great additions to the communication side of Battlefield in my opinion, but as I'll discuss in a bit, this is all meaningless in the grand scheme of things. A new roadmap will also be coming soon, just before Firestorm drops in March, meaning we'll have a much clearer view of what to expect in coming months. Also, it's worth noting that recent videos have shown that certain things have been data mined, including a possible new map and lots of information regarding Firestorm. That being said, a lot of this stuff isn't official, whilst the stuff I'm talking about with this Operation Sunrise is an official word from DICE about how we're going to receive this new information. DICE are clearly papering over the cracks here. They have no real interest in telling us exactly what is coming next and would sooner talk their way out of bringing us new content. It seems to me as if we're getting, soon we'll be receiving this, but first an announcement about something you'll be receiving next. No actual content, just announcement after announcement. What does the roadmap actually mean? Well, DICE revealed a pretty comprehensive roadmap before the game came out, telling us exactly what we would expect from the game, what we should expect to see within the first few weeks of it releasing, and then they didn't come close to delivering on that. What is to stop them from doing the same thing here? My bet is that they'll hype up the new Theatre of War, more weapons, more maps, and some new cosmetics. 
What we'll then receive are a few maps, recycled Battlefield 1 weapons, and cosmetics that coincide with microtransactions. Not that there's anything wrong with the microtransactions in Battlefield, I think the cosmetics are actually one of the things that work, despite the fact that the company coin issue plagued the game for months on end, but it's not the worst thing in the world. My major problem is here is I was expecting an announcement saying we are bringing you four new maps, especially with the new Theatre of War coming out and new locations. I want to see lots of content to get people engaged. I'm remaining skeptical of everything DICE have to say until they actually deliver on a promise, something I have not yet seen them do with Battlefield 5. I will get on to some ways that DICE can fix this towards the end of this video, but just continuing on with that community post. The community manager went on to say, we will wrap up this broadcast here, but we'll return again shortly with another. As we move forward, we'll be keeping you more updated and more informed than ever before. Personally, just a little side note, I hate this sort of post because it doesn't actually tell you anything meaningful at all. Essentially, he's just saying, on Monday we're going to talk about what's going to be talked about this week. On Tuesday, let's talk about what we talked about on Monday and talk about things that are coming later in the week. Wednesday, let's discuss things to talk about. On Thursday, let's have a Q&A. And Friday, let's talk about what we just experienced the previous week. All in all, it's a load of nothingness, and it's really frustrating to see this continue with Battlefield 5. You are receiving nothing of any use with these posts. It's a pretty terrible attempt to distract the community from the real issues, and this is reflected in the comments you'll see on Reddit, especially on this post, and on Twitter when devs post about things coming soon in Battlefield 5. BF5 has little to keep any proper Battlefield fans playing. It is a fairly decent game for some people. People enjoy it, that's fine, but I'm seeing a lot of content revert back to the older Battlefield games. Or for some of the bigger creators like Jack Frags, they're going on to different games and have been doing that for some time, which is a real shame. Battlefield is a big enough franchise that it should be able to keep the larger creators. It's got enough clout to give you enough content, and as a fan, you should be wanting to watch videos every single day from multiple content creators on both YouTube and Twitch, and maybe other platforms as well. For Battlefield 5, I'm seeing very few people stream it. There are some successful streamers, but in the grand scheme of things, it's a lot less compared to the other big AAA games. The major issue, in my opinion, is definitely down to content right now. Just to put that into perspective, Battlefield 1 released with 9 maps, 6 factions, 30 unique weapons and 71 variants, 18 sidearms, 16 melee weapons, 4 tanks and 10 aircraft, 6 game modes and a max rank of 100, with max service stars of 100 on all weapons. It was later complemented with several DLCs. Battlefield 5 released with 8 maps, 2 factions, 30 weapons, 7 sidearms, 11 melee weapons, 9 tanks and 10 aircraft, 6 game modes and a max rank of 50, with max weapon ranks of 10. That is on release of course, things have changed since then and BF5 has had a little more content that has come, such as the Stug and a couple of different weapons, and Panzerstorm of course, but it's not as much as BF1, which is a big shame. There are a few ways to fix this. Firstly, the DICE roadmap that they are bringing is clear and full of information, but it needs to be delivering on those promises. I want to see a list of vehicles, a list of modes, a list of maps, and then I want to see those things in the game, linking to specific dates, and maybe dropping a load of content all at once. Right now, all we're getting is announcements, announcing announcements, and it sucks. That is then followed up with, sorry, we can't bring this to you right now, or we've run into an unexpected delay. Let me know what you think of this situation in the comments. I look forward to reading what you've got to say. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.